In this video, I want to show you guys a free and open source program for Windows called Salen UI. In my opinion, this is one of the best software to customize Windows. Check out the description of this software, the fully customizable desktop environment for Windows 10 and 11. So it also works with the Windows 10 if you're still using Windows 10. I think most people are actually still using Windows 10 as of me making this video. So this software, you can see the demo here, actually, the picture. This looks really good. You get the top bar and uh, the dock at the bottom. So this is kind of gives you the feeling of Linux. Recently, I have been using Linux and yeah, this software is actually really cool. Look at that. You can also change the taskbar or dock to wherever you want, row fee. I think this is a Linux feature. Wow, upcoming feature. Okay, okay, wow. Look at that, customizable pop-up widgets. I haven't got that feature yet. So to download the software, you can go to their official GitHub page and you can download it from Microsoft Store. That's what the dev recommends actually, but you can go to the releases and then you can download the software. But, wow, okay, wait a minute. There is a beta 2.0 2 already available. I didn't knew this. Maybe the Rofi thingy is already out if you download the beta one. I should have made this video after trying out the 2.0 because I'm using the one, version one. It has some limitations and all that. Maybe I'll do a, another video uh, once I test out the 2.0. So let's talk about the CLN UI. This is how it looks. I have done a small customization, not too much. Once you install the software, run it. It will be named as CLN UI. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. If I'm wrong, please do the comment. So basically what it does is it replaces the Windows taskbar not actually it completely hides the windows taskbar when you're using this so even if you hover your mouse to the bottom the windows taskbar won't show up because there is the dock okay dock takes over the windows taskbar and you get the top bar which you can also customize in general settings we can change the colors and everything set the wallpaper and there is the themes available okay right now i'm actually already using a bubble theme if I turn that off, now you can see the top bar changed because we removed the bubble theme. I'm going to apply that rainbow theme. <laughs> okay, this is for the dock. <laughs> okay. I don't know about the rainbow, but I think I'm going to use the bubble. Yeah, that looks good. This feels like Hyperland on Windows. If you have used a Linux or have heard about Linux or have heard about the Hyperland on Linux, you know what I'm talking about. This thing is actually pretty cool. We have the fancy toolbar. This is the top bar, I think. Yeah, okay. This is the top bar. They call it a fancy toolbar. We're gonna enable that. Once we enable that, you know, you get the top bar and you can actually customize it. There are two options right now, default and default ultra. Let's go with that. Now, this looks kind of similar, but the clock is moved to the right side okay i think uh, default will do because uh, clock actually looks pretty cool in middle and at the top we have the system tray okay we have the uh, other system icons like the volume and everything even the notification panel is here and it works every time you get a notification it will stay here you can also clear that out so this thing actually completely replaces the windows taskbar Okay, pretty cool. I like it. This thing also has a window manager. So if you're someone who uses window manager, yeah, it it is built into it. I'm not a window manager guy. So yeah, but if you are, then you got it. Then we have the dog option. It's the dog that appears at the bottom, which you can also customize. Uh, let's go. You can go with the full width. Yeah, okay. But I like it in the middle, actually. Okay, let's keep that dock side. It should be like dock position. Okay, left, right, top, bottom. Yeah, you can put it wherever you want. Okay, let's put it to the left side. Now it's to the left side, but I think I'm going to go with the bottom. The default is good. 
Okay, you can also change the size and everything. And we have the monitors option. It says in progress, which means uh, it's still in development. Maybe it's available in uh, 2.0, which I still need to test. And shortcuts options is to manage your tiling window manager once you enable it you can switch in between the workspaces and everything now this thing actually looks amazing but uh the version that i'm using the one point something isn't actually ready for day-to-day -day use because there are some limitations like you can't add the new icons to the dock it just doesn't work i don't know why like let's say for example i want to drag and drop something some icon to the dock it doesn't work things like that are kind of broken in stable version of this maybe the 2.0 will fix that it says i'm planning to develop an app launcher inspired by rofi on linux look, look at this this is like linux thing oh i think this is a screenshot from linux <laughs> this guy is trying to turn uh, windows into linux <laughs> i don't know why i'm gonna have to try the 2.0 come on maybe it's already out in 2.0 i have been using and testing this for a while now i downloaded it from the uh, microsoft store because that's what the dev recommends for stability and all that when i downloaded this there was no 2.0 actually oh look at that it was updated five hours ago, so it's still in active development. So when I downloaded this software, the 2.0 didn't exist or was in like pre-alpha or something. But now it's on like beta. I think when 2.0 comes out, this thing is going to be big. Let's look at the CPU and RAM usage because that's also really important. <laughs> you know, okay, ceiling UI, 2% CPU that's not much i mean it's usable that's that's pretty good again as i said this thing is actually pretty cool but it's not ready yet okay it needs some work like you can't pin apps to the dock or maybe there is other way to do it but you can't do the drag and drop oh never mind okay i found the way to pin it <laughs> okay right click and pin and pin center okay let's do that now it is pinned now there is this bug some apps won't show you the preview and uh, also the icon this is for the you know uh, obs you know some apps won't show you icons and preview of that app yeah this needs work but i'm really excited for the uh, version 2 actually after this i'm gonna go and try out the version 2.0 if it's good and has some big changes and all that I'll make another video. Why not? Yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.